All right, welcome back to another episode of Two Plain Sports. Got a big one today. Oklahoma picking up another commitment, this time from four-star, top 150 player, defensive lineman, Trent Wilson, friend of the show, as I'm sure Brandon was about to say. Friend of the show, <clears throat> for sure. Big, big time addition for Oklahoma. Talked about him over the last week. We're going to dive a little bit more into it and how this puts Oklahoma um, in position for the next few months because it's very different from the last couple of years. Oklahoma's striking early for their recruiting. Before we get too much further, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure to turn on the notification bell. If you're someone that prefers audio, we are on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Go follow us there and leave us a rating. Always helps. All right, back to the main topic. Trent Wilson has committed to the University of Oklahoma. We talked about him last week. Some of the big points were his size, looking like a grown man already, yeah. probably going to be someone. I mean, as we're recording this, um, we saw not not too long ago in, in the week that David Stone was already nearing 300 pounds. I bet Trent is someone that could do something very similar by the time he gets to campus. And he is now the, the second highest rated player in this Oklahoma recruiting class, depending on which Recruiting platform, of course, that what you look at, but he's right up there, and it puts Oklahoma in, in striking distance to get to a top five class. Brandon, what do you think? Yeah, man, it's awesome. Uh, he's the guy that when we when we interviewed him, he reminded me a lot of Danny Okoye, just that that confidence that that they have in themselves, which I think is going to go a long way at the college level. I was going to bring up the David Stone thing too, because Trent Wilson's listed at six three two seventy. We see what Schmidt's doing to uh, David Stone, pushing three hundred pounds now. I imagine Trent Wilson's going to be on that same. Um, same path, same workout program. He's going to be putting on the pounds too, because when you get him, Jaden Jackson, David Stone as your future of the interior defensive line, that's that's a pretty strong trio there. Um, when one needs to go, you know, to the, when one needs to go to the bench, get some air. Uh, you're 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 constantly bringing some pretty good some pretty good dudes there to uh, to fill that to fill that spot. But Trent Wilson's a guy who's very athletic too. He played offense uh, in, in some in high school, mostly to block, but he can kind of do it all on the football field. He's got the right mindset. He's he's got it all. Um, super super excited to have this one. Yeah, and one big point we talked about last time was his humility when it came to him being the guy that actively reached out to Oklahoma, making sure he didn't miss that opportunity to play for Coach Bates. And something that some people might not be wanting to hear, but Coach Bates Coach Bates still has that effect on recruits. We're now three years into uh, him being the defensive line coach at Oklahoma and we talked about it when he first came to join the staff the Todd Bates effect and we're still talking about it now no matter what some people seem to believe about defensive line play kids still want to play for Todd Bates and you can say because he's a good recruiter but he's also putting people on into positions to be in the NFL I think one thing that needs to be put in perspective is where this defensive line was when he got to Norman and where it is now is it where everyone would love it to be no but it's definitely in a much better position than it was when he first got to campus not just with the personnel he has now but even with what he's the product he's put out on the field they're leading and they were leading the big 12 if I remember correctly in tackles for loss mm -hmm. they improved massively from year one to year two and rushing the passer and getting sacks and teams if you looked at it and listened to Coach Venables when he was asked about it, teams were playing that defensive line different than they would other teams. They would sack the box more, or they would stack the new max protect more, I'm sorry. They would have an extra blocker to make sure that their quarterback had enough time, and their quarterback would sometimes run a little sooner than they were used to seeing on film. So this defensive line is, is definitely improving now with the addition of Trent Wilson for the future and with the guys that are there now from the 2023 class, I think Oklahoma is more than ready for the SEC. Oh yeah. And that, you know, that, that leading the, leading the league in, in, in uh talk for loss last year, I think it's only going to improve because, you know, when they got here, they inherited a lot of guys that they didn't recruit. Not that they're not good players. We like them all. You know, Ethan Downs is a great player. Uh, he's not part of their recruiting class, but um, you know, as these years go on, soon it's going to be all their guys and, and, and the guys they want and the guys that they see, molding the system. So I think that number is only going to get better and better. And they're getting guys, uh, a, a fun Trent Wilson story here. He, uh, he tore his meniscus before the 2023 season. And, um, 
came back in October and finished the season, helped his team win the state title. So I mean, the dude is that's he, he's a dog. I mean, that, that that that's tough to do. I think to tear your meniscus and then come back mid season and and help really help lead your team to a national title or national title to a state title. Um, it's pretty cool. Yeah, and doing it in high school isn't easy. I think that's one no. thing a lot of people forget. Like, so the further you get into playing sports, whatever sport it is, you have more time on your hands to get better and Im- improve your game and develop. High school kids have a fraction of the time that college kids have, and college athletes have a fraction of the time that professional athletes get. That's why you see these massive jumps in strength, weight, the knowledge they have and they possess, like they come in pretty much the best ones just come in instinctually being better than most. But the ones that excel are the ones that put in the work because now they have time and they're not just using it to screw around like they're dedicating. And I think that point you brought up just shows like Trent already in, as a high school player. And that was before the 2023 season and his going into his junior year, he's putting in that kind of work. Like imagine yeah. when he's got more time and more coaches, more resources helping him out. I think the sky's the limit here for this guy. hundred percent, man. He's, I mean, it's, it's, it also, it just shows how much he cares, how dedicated he is to this stuff. Cause I mean, a lot of, I feel like a lot of kids that junior season, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's big, but it, I mean, he still has a senior season to prepare for and stuff like that. I feel like a lot of kids might shut it down there, you know, and, and, and I'm not even going to blame the kids who would, or who do, who, who have done that. I mean, Health is something you don't want to play with, but to to overcome that, still be like, "F it, I'm going to come back. We're going to win." And I'm sure he put up pretty pretty good numbers as as a junior as well. So I mean, that's I think it just says a lot about the player that you're getting out here in in, in Trent Wilson. Hundred percent. That power line graphic from last year. Be cool to see that after the first three seasons of Oklahoma uh, under the Brent Venables regime. Because in that first year, they missed on a couple. I mean, who you can't the, get them all. Who's the kid that? Keontae Henry. He was yeah. a highly rated four star off the team. Um, Supposed to play basketball semester. too. Yeah, he he had some issues, I think, going on. Yeah. I don't know he, exactly what is what, what happened there, but yeah. He did, if I remember correctly. But now, you know, there's also an expectation that Grayson Halton's going to be someone that contributes, who was also in that 2022 class. And I think he was might have been the first guy to commit once this new staff came in. Like one of the guys that Oklahoma really had no Definitely up there. Him and the other uh, D line that they got. They were, I can't think of his name right now. They got like two defensive linemen right around the same time that I think were the first. Our Mason? Commit. Yeah, our Mason. Yeah, they were right there. They were, they were, they were basically battling. And obviously now our Mason has been going through some injury issues, but he's had a sky high expectations going into every season, even in his freshman year. He played yeah. well. Now Grayson Halton's getting some of that hype behind him. We'll see. But this is, this is going to be an exciting year. And I think the, the SEC, the title, and the the brand is more intimidating than I think what we're going to see actually is on the football field come fall time. I mean, 100%. We've talked about it a lot. You, it's it's top heavy. Yeah, Alabama's Alabama. Georgia's Georgia. Texas is, you know, they're they're definitely on the up and up. Ole Miss seems to be in, in, in a really good spot. Missouri seems to be in a really good spot, but that I don't think will – um last I, you know they kind of do this every once in a while and then they fall off again but you know mississippi state is no bit is, is not better than anybody that we've been playing neither is vandy or you know it's i think we'll be fine agreed oh we'll end it there good good day to be a sooner brandon end of video challenge great day man uh, just your trent wilson thoughts i mean it's these these recruitment videos are always easy uh, we're talking about trent wilson he adds a lot to this to this team, I think, in the future. Um, we're excited, so just give us your thoughts on Trent Wilson. All right. Well, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Participate in that end of video challenge really helps us out. Uh, with what you guys want to hear, we love listening to your guys' opinions, even with when we disagree with them. Sometimes you call us out when we look back on camera, and we don't do that in the future. <laughs> exactly. So we appreciate you guys, and we'll see you next.